<laughs> I start with a really awkward face. It's awesome. Anyway, so this uh, it's me, Charlie. Um, this video is going to be about STP devices, or at least one STP device that I found really works well for me, um, and a little how-to of how I made it. So what you will need is a nasal aspirator. It's it's like a little baby booger device. They call it. So yeah, it's like where and then you put your nose and the baby's fine. So. Um, you told me to speak English. I don't think that is really English, but that's okay. Anyway, so, um, so what I did was I took the nasal aspirator. I took it apart. Um, this piece comes off really easily. Um, and if you could see, this is like, it's rectangular in this region right here, but it's completely round on the sides. I mean, other than this, I basically cut it. So what I did was I took the more rounded side and I cut a hole in it. So if you, um... I have nothing to compare it to, but here's my thumb, and you can see how big the hole is. So, I pretty much cut it a little bit past the second line. If you get this one, you get this at Walgreens for like five bucks, um, which is nothing compared to SDP devices that you find other places. Um, so yeah, that's how I made this part. And the little tip for the nasal aspirator, I cut off a bit, uh, so the medicine syringe that you get at Walgreens will fit in there nice and snug. So uh, I. I took a lighter to it. I don't recommend doing that. This is my first one I made, like I said. I figured maybe it would help with um, with it like being tight, but it really doesn't need it. It's totally fine. Um, and if you're worried about any like airtight seals with this, what I did was I took the, um, the syringe part of the medicine syringe and I cut off half of it. So, um, and so I figured maybe if I put it through this region right here, so put it on the back, like, put it on backwards and pull it through like that. Not past the little, um, not past this part right here. That holds it on. So there we go. So, and with the medicine syringe, I cut off the little tip so it would help pee flow a lot better. So it doesn't back up as easily. So once you have all these parts cut up and mutilated, <laughs> you want to put the syringe through the, um the tip to the nasal aspirator and try to get it as tight as possible um and you want to make sure that the uh that the medicine syringe um the bulb like the little sh 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 i don't really know how else to explain it um doesn't really go past the butt part of this so there won't be any bacteria issues um once you got that you want to stick this through the bulb right here and just push it I don't know. I lied. You don't want to do it that way. Don't listen to what I'm saying. So then you want to put it through here. <laughs> there we go. And there you go. There's your STP device. And to make this a little more stealth, you could probably even just like push the syringe down in. And it's a lot easier to hold, as you can see, like that. So when you're ready to pee, just you know push it through. And then hold it on. Um, one issue with this is uh, it can overflow when you have to pee really hard, but it's nothing as bad as a medicine spoon. Medicine spoon, as I could, I, at least that's what I would think. Um, I, another good thing about this is that it's rubber and flexible, so when you hold it to yourself, it doesn't hurt as bad. Um, and let's see what else is positive about this. Well, I guess a negative thing is that see how the bulb part is like. It's like a bulb. Anyway, um, a lot of the pee can collect down here, so when you're actually urinating, you want to take it here, I don't really know how to do this, and squeeze it when you're doing that, so it makes it more of a level part, so it's able to get all the urine out. And if that doesn't work, if you're in a stall, just take it off when you're done and just put it in the toilet. So yeah, that's my little STP device. Five bucks. You get these medicine syringes for free if you ask a pharmacist. Um, or not syringe, I'm sorry. Uh, medicine, I don't know, it's squeezy thing. So, <laughs> I'm sure I said in the video before. Am I missing anything? I think I got it all right, Jack. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves and uh, play safely. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.